Howdy, my name is Claudio. Welcome back to the channel, you know what I'm saying? If y'all ain't noticed, your boy got a new cut, you know what I'm saying? So I might FaceTime your bitch if she ain't on the leash, you feel me? Yes, sir. Today we got a video from Nightmare, Mr. Nightmare, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he coming back to the channel because he got a lot of scary stuff, you know what I'm saying? It's a little different than Nukes Top 5, you know what I'm saying? This is just more stuff that we can react to that's scary, you feel me? So this is why I got him on here, you feel me? Today, we got a video called Two Disturbing Mysteries That Remain Unsolved. Let's check it out. On Sunday, December 7th, 1958, around 1 p.m., the Martin family Banana gathered cream. into their 1954 cream and red colored Ford station wagon and headed towards the Columbia River Gorge. Their intention was to collect greenery from the surrounding woodlands to use for Christmas decorations around their home. Three hours later, the family... I just... <coughs> Dang it. That's King Pong for you, dog. Hit my discount code. 20% off. KP Cloudy. Two eyes. You feel me? I'll put it on the screen somewhere. I just realized, bro, started the video really fast. So let me go back so I can really like, you know what I'm saying? Turn it up too. You feel me? Y'all ready? Ready. Let's go. On Sunday, December 7th, 1958, <coughs> around 1 p.m., the Martin family gathered into their 1954 cream and red colored Ford station wagon and headed towards okay. the Columbia River Gorge. Their intention was to collect greenery from the surrounding woodlands to use for Christmas decorations around their home. Three hours later, the family stopped at a gas station in the city of Cascade Locks, 40 miles from their home, where they ate at Paradise Snack Bar in the city of Hood River, 20 miles further from Cascade Locks. So at this point, they were about 60 miles from home. Their waitress right, at Paradise Snack Bar <coughs> confirmed that all appeared normal with the family, and they left the restaurant around 5 p.m., which was already found weird by me, as Ken Martin was known to avoid driving at night due to his eyesight. This was the last time any sightings of the Martin his wife probably drove. family could be verified. On December 9th, Ken's boss reported him missing, as he had not shown up to work, something that was extremely out of character mm. for him. What about his wife and kids? That same night at around 11 p.m., police arrived at the home of the Martin family. There were no signs of a break-in or foul play. There were dishes still in the sink, and a load of clothing was still in the washing machine, and a Santa Claus outfit from a Christmas party was even still laid out on a bed. Wherever the Martins had gone, they clearly intended to come back. Within days, also the whole family gone. Was all over the papers, and as many as five different police agencies all launched separate investigations. They said a thousand. There were dishes oh. intended to come back. Within days, their <clears throat> disappearance was all over the papers, and as many. As Bro, they worth a thousand dollars. The whole family. Well, back then, a thousand dollars was probably like more than. What thousand dollars back then is probably like a million, you know what I'm saying? They said 19, what 1964? I don't know what the money was, was back then, but I know a dollar was a lot more than what it's today. You feel me? A dollar today is like a cent, you feel me? They was worth a thousand dollars for one, two, three, four, four, five people don't just go missing, bro. All together, five people, maybe like one or two, maybe three, but five people, five human beings, they don't just disappear like that. So let's let's let let's tally up the marks, you feel me? So one, they were 60 miles away from home. Okay? Which means they could have ran into people they've never met before when they were at that uh restaurant. Two, they left and drove at night when the dad usually don't like driving at night. But the waitress says she knew him, so I guess that kind of takes out number one, but Nah, it don't. They were 60 miles away from home, you feel me? To go eat. The dad wanted to drive at night when he could barely see. And then when they got home, there wasn't no sign of any break-ins. So that leaves me with this. A suspect could either be somebody they know, meaning friends, family, acquaintances, whatever the hell you want to call it, you feel me? Or two, Somebody in the family did this to to themselves. Like some one out of all these five people, somebody did something to the rest of the family and they left. Or three, they all just decided to disappear and go somewhere else. That could be a thing too, but the reasons why behind that is kind of like why. You know what I'm saying? Like why would y'all just five different police agencies five people, all launched separate investigations to find the family. <clears throat> 
Police were able to verify that the family stopped at the gas station and the restaurant, but after that, they were at a loss for where the family could have gone. During the they course of the initial somebody. search, the police found an abandoned white Chevy near Cascade. That gas, the gas station and the restaurant are both prime suspect areas. Whoever was there that night, <coughs> whoever was there that night is a suspect. It locks, which if was I'm from Los Angeles and had been reported stolen by its owner. Out. This led police to search for two ex-convicts, Roy Light and Lester Price. There was some mm. suspicion that the two may have been involved in the disappearance of the Martins, Last week. as the owner of the Paradise Snack Bar told the police guilty. that they were at the restaurant <coughs> at the same time as the Martin family, leaving shortly after the Martins. But without substantial proof to connect them to the disappearance, they were never questioned. Shortly after? Strangely, days after their disappearance, police would continue to get calls reporting sightings of the Martins from all over the area. Several alleged witnesses. See, that's what I'm saying. That's a little confusing. They, that's what I'm saying. They probably just disappeared for the day or something like that. Who said they was missing anyway? You know, what the hell? Seem to see the Martins or people matching their description in other parts of Oregon, Iowa, and even Montana, but none of these sightings could be verified. Two witnesses claimed to see the Martin station wagon around dusk parked under the Bridge of the Gods in Cascade Locks with two men standing next to the vehicle and speaking to the passengers inside. Though this couldn't be verified, but if it was true, this nobody was the went last to no time they were. So nobody went to go find out where these places was. I mean, like nobody went to go see. Okay, I guess you know what I'm saying the police, man. I gotta be better, bro. Seen alive. Many came to believe that they had accidentally driven into the Columbia River. Pretty soon, awesome. though, a very important discovery in the investigation was made when tire tracks were found leading to a cliff above the river. Cream-colored paint chips, consistent with the color of the Martin station wagon, were found on the rocks below. The location of the tracks suggested that an accident was unlikely, as the spot was not close to the road. Efforts to search this portion of the river, though, proved it might not be an accident. Two police officers shot down the idea, claiming it was too dangerous and that no divers should be sent down there. Even though Detective Walter Graven was told by two professional divers that this would be a good place to dive, and anyone who knows how to dive would have no trouble in this area. In the early morning of May 2nd, So what are we doing about this, bro? Fisher so is, is the diver going down there to go see if this family uh, drove off? And if they drove off, they saying it's not close to the road. There's a high chance, maybe at night when the father couldn't really see, he drove him off, or he intended to drive him off. You know what I'm saying? Or they all intended to go off you know it is it's weird i don't know and or somebody wife. or somebody did something to him or pushed their car off the, something like that had to happen reported something strange floating downstream near the bonneville dam divers. in the columbia river gorge those two divers were suspects to them it appeared to be two bodies and unfortunately they were right the following day one of the bodies was found on the north bank of the columbia river and the next morning the second body was recovered they belong to Susan and Virginia Martin, ages 11 and 13. Damn. Though the official cause girls, of death man. for both girls was determined to be drowning, a technician reportedly spotted what he believed to be bullet wounds in each of their heads and informed Ooh, Dr. Oh, see, I told y'all, bro. It had to be some type of real foul play, bro. That don't make sense. Five people disappearing, bro, just like that. It don't make sense, bro. It don't the make medical sense. Medical examiner. In his report, however, Waterman stated that no such injuries were found. Likewise, no police reports or newspaper articles from the time indicated that any signs of foul play were present. The examination also revealed that both Virginia and Susan had eaten burgers and fries within two hours of their deaths, consistent with Thank the testimony the of the waitress from Paradise Snack Bar. Oh, it might be those uh those two dudes who left right after because they said two hours and they could see that the food was still, I guess, in their system or however they find out. It might be those two fugitives or whatever... Well, that was in the bar that left right after they probably did it they probably did it or the dad or the mom did it and claimed to have received several threatening phone calls after the bodies had or been somebody discovered. else that they met each at the time, gas station the voice of what sounded like a young man warned dr waterman that he would be harmed should any of the other missing martins be identified but there was actually one surviving member of the martin family donald martin Donald had a strained relationship with his family due to him possibly being gay and having been caught with a man in the home by his parents. Wait, is that the... He never came out to aid in the search for his parents and oh, sisters, claiming that his aunt Charlotte had encouraged him to stay put in New York. However, Charlotte refuted <clears throat> this claim, stating that she did not... Wait, is he the son or he is, is he like... 
the brother or something. Came out to aid in the search for his parents. Donald Martin. Donald had a strained relationship with his family Martin? due to him possibly being gay and having been caught with a man in the home by his parents. He never came out to aid in the search for his parents and sisters, okay, I think claiming it is that his son. aunt Charlotte had encouraged him to stay put in New York. However, Charlotte refuted this claim, stating that she didn't understand why Donald hadn't traveled to Oregon to help look for his family. Donald also didn't attend the memorial services for either of his... He might be a suspect too. Okay, so Fosar... <clears throat> Ooh, let me, let me get... <laughs> This King Fall got me going crazy. I ain't gonna lie, but bro, we let's let's list the suspects right now. These are the suspects I have. You feel me? Number one, the dad. This is not in order. Number one, the dad. Number two, the two fugitive people that they met at the bar, <clears throat> or that was at the bar, and that left right after them. Three, the mom. Four, the son. Five, anybody that they could have met at the gas station. And number seven, natural causes. You know what I'm saying? Those are my seven suspects. But not gonna lie, Brody pushing up to number one. Sisters claiming to have gotten the dates mixed up. As the only surviving family member, the... Donald was the sole beneficiary of the Martin How estate, totaling around $36,000 oh, at the okay. time. Four years earlier, Donald had been fired from his job at the Meyer & Frank, a department store in Portland. He had been fired for stealing over $2,000 worth of merchandise. One theory suggests that Donald had some involvement in the disappearance of his family, not just because of his poor relationship with his family. No, there was something much worse that came up. A 38 automatic pistol covered in blood was discovered under a rock near Cascade Locks in January 1959. Damn. A single okay. spent bullet was found in the chamber of the gun. Bizarrely, the weapon was never processed as evidence and was later cleaned and returned to the man who found it. When investigators traced the gun's serial number, they learned it was one of the items Donald Martin was accused of stealing from Meyer and Frank back in 1954. Bro, er, bro, all of this is tying right back into bro. I think he did it. Despite this, Donald was never outwardly accused of having any involvement in the disappearances. To this day, Ken, Barbara, and Barbie Martin's bodies remain unfound. Bro, charge him, bro. That's crazy. That's the end of that right there. You feel me? It's two stories, but you know, I'm gonna do a story and it's, you know what I'm saying? You know, y'all know me. You feel me? If y'all been over here long enough, y'all know how I get down. Man, not gonna lie. He is the prime suspect. He stole that gun. At that point, bro, I feel like that's enough to put you in, in, in cuffs for a little bit until you get full evidence. I think it's enough to put you in jail for a little while. You feel me? If you stole that same gun that was used to put your family down, bro, and you got all this stuff that could potentially make you want to do something. You know what I'm saying? My bro, my chair arms, they be like pushing out, you know what I'm saying? So I be having to push them back in, bro. It's annoying as hell. But bro, yeah. Y'all, y'all let me know out of those seven suspects if you remember. If you don't go back to go look. Cause you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm probably gonna try to list them or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Your boy's gonna be like one of the best editors on YouTube. <laughs> uh yeah, man. Which one y'all think is the prime suspect? Right now, all fingers are pointing at him. You feel me? And it's sad to say, most of us think it's you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy y'all day.